Hi, I'm Mark Cuevas, and this is New Media Weekly. Today I have the privilege of speaking with Susan Miller, executive producer and writer of Anyone But Me, and creator of Best Sellers. What was the thing that gave you the most joy in doing Anyone But Me? Oh, wow. And it, it, it has been joyous, actually. I think the cast, I think when we, they assembled for the first time, and every time, actually, the, the, the talent that we got, the energy and the devotion they brought to the project, right. it, it really filled me. I mean, I sometimes, when I look at an episode again or a scene, I'm, tears come to my eyes I'm, I'm, because of just, you know, what, how it lifted me, I think. Anyone but me has, um, their, your viewership is very, very intimate. They're very much invested. Yeah. What was something that you discovered about your viewers? Something I knew before going in just that, first of all, that we had to have a cast that had chemistry. Right. Because if we had chemistry, and also that I love the fact that they're unknowns. I mean, I, I understand celebrity is making its way into the web, and celebrity will always uh, and, and not to put down, you know, talented, talented actors, but um, I think what I learned is that the fans needed and wanted to connect, and as soon as they connected with these people um, and the stories, that we needed then to connect with the fans, right. but ourselves, you know, as you know, and this you don't do in other medium. You, you, there's really no way to do it. There's there's a wall, there's a divide. Yeah. Here this is the outpouring of your soul right. directly in to theirs. And, and also I think when they, sometimes they got angry, how could this happen? Or how could she kiss that person? Or, you know, the, you better bring personal. those two. Oh, very much so. Then you know you have them hooked. Right. And you don't, it's not that you, people have asked, if, you know, do you, because it's an interactive media or can be, do you cater to them? Do you uh, ever write what they want? Right. No. <laughs> we. I mean, it turns out sometimes they're happy. But, but that's the the synergy between the creators and the audience having something very intimate. Yeah. Yeah. It's three years, mm -hmm. and it's come to an end, and you've had a little bit of time to reflect. What was the biggest surprise? Hmm. I. I. Th I think. The biggest surprise was and is how this crossed our show, which does focus on on two young girls who are in love with each other. Although that the cast is multi-ethnic and they're heterosexuals and homosexuals, but I think the way that this crossed, you know, age, gender uh, lines, the way people respond to something that we put our hearts into, but also our craft. It's well done. And so surprised, you know, how much love we got, actually. Um, and then moved by that. What was the biggest lesson you learned in, in mm. all of this? One, I think, is how important reaching out, responding to people who do show us the love and fans and young people all over who write to us, how much that means to them. Right. I mean, you don't think about it. Someone writes a tweet or, or asks a question on Facebook and you write back and, and, and they're just, they're in awe. You know, they're like, oh my God, Susan Miller wrote back to me. And I'm thinking, you know, you don't understand. Your, your passion for the show, your feelings and questions and thoughts, they matter. I would imagine it must be terribly gratifying, especially as a writer. It's such a solitary pursuit to be involved in something that has so much immediate feedback that you could see that, that your thoughts and emotions had such a profound effect. It's amazing. And I mean, that's part of what you get in theater. The closest I came was when I did a, a, a one-woman play called My Left Breast, and there was no, you know, <laughs> middleman, so to speak. Right. And I could feel that, and that, that was also a life changer, as this was. So, um, if there's 
anything that you would do differently, what would it have been? About anyone what? but me, the show, or sure, my and, entire life? <laughs> well, let's, let's just say that in, with, with anyone but me, or even bestseller, since those, mm -hmm. those are your two immediate experiences right. in, this, in the medium. You know, it's interesting. I wouldn't do things differently, even though, yes, at the end of every, every season, I, I like to make a list of well, what what you know production things could we change and make more efficient or, or oh I see you have to treat a certain person in a certain way because right. you know those kinds of things, but in terms of the the sort of that general question, my feeling is it's like all of life to me. If you walk down one street, this is this might happen. If you decide to cross over, who knows? And so you have to look at at all of it as it, you know, it's going to take you to the next step, right. whatever you did. Right. So, no, I wouldn't go back and change. I would just take what I learned and apply it, if I can, to the next experience. I think that's a wonderful way of looking at things. That, that's wonderful. Um, since you have the accumulation of experience, both in traditional entertainment and now mm -hmm. with the new medium, how do you see the two working together? I think there's room for all the arts. Uh, I think that there's a great way that um, the traditional media can learn, pick up on, integrate um, what we're doing on the web. Um, I don't think there's, there should be a division. Like I don't think the web's going to take over television. And I don't think television is going to eat it up the web. I, I just think it's just another way to express ourselves. Where do you see writers and creators such as yourself taking this new medium? Oh, I think taking it to heart and taking it in to, to know that there's, a, there's this place for us where we can, you know, uh, it's, it's a territory where we can put down stakes. And again, um, do it for ourselves. So you feel much in the way stage was, or that was the early, exactly the black box theater, yeah. the experimental things. Um, you know, uh, I think that's what this is, at least for me. I think that's wonderful. Um, so, how do you see yourself now using the medium? What are your plans? Oh, I definitely want to use it. I, I, um, I mean, I'd like, I'd love to do another web series, but also I'm trying to. I will be thinking about how, perhaps, my plays or how, how you know, how I can marry them in some way. How th this will inspire the next work I do. What I've been doing. Sure. You know? I, I would. I personally always felt that the web and new media was a perfect place to push out the walls of mm -hmm. staged and things written for the right. stage. Absolutely. And actually, I wrote an article for American Theater Magazine, uh, and I'm glad to see that other playwrights are following suit, because they are, um, just about my kind of journey through this, uh, this new world. Well, you're um, the one that's forging the path. It's so weird to, do, you know, to, to be in that position, really, because you know, sometimes being ahead of your time, which is challenging in wonderful ways, it's like, okay, and now you see other things happening, and you go, boy, that, that's a little easier for them, isn't it? Or, or people are paying attention now, and we had to make them pay attention. But it's so great, actually, to have been in that, in that moment. Because it never comes again. No. We never come this way again. Any advice that you would offer for writers, for would-be producers, who are trying to make the jump. Because mm -hmm. that's really what this medium is about. It's, it's about us who were film people mm -hmm. and theater people. Mm -hmm. Any advice for them? Well, uh, first, assemble the best, most talented, um, uh, most trustable people that you can to help you. You know, write your heart out. Work at the same level you would in any other uh, form of art, whether it's theater or film uh, or, or television, which I happen to adore, actually, the best of television. Um, 
I, I, I think there should be no um, sacrificing of quality uh, in what you do. But also, um, the web is such that you, you can start and not spend a lot of money. You can um, uh, take it on uh, as, long as, as long as you bring you know, that professionalism to it. Um, I, th I just think it's a, it's, it's a, I think it's a wide open space now still.